The management team, thank you all. Hey, how you doing? I'm Rick Bate. I'm working for Steeplejack, Albion Sands, and this is a good job. Lots of good money, lots of good people. Hey, my name's Jennifer Burden. I've been on the project for over two years. I coordinate camp accommodation for Albion Village, which includes 2,950 rooms and almost 5,000 rooms in total to include off-site camps. I bet you're gonna miss life in camp when this job ends. This is almost like waiting for the school bus when you were a kid. You're not crazy about waiting when it's cold, but the memories will be fond. Even the driver with those crazy split shifts they have is upbeat. I get up about two in the morning every morning and uh, I drive into town, pick up the office staff at about four o'clock in the morning and I uh, bring them back to the camp and I drop them off at the office. And then after I do that, we have a little safety meeting there in the office for about half an hour. And then after that, we go to, back to the camp for breakfast. And then later on in the day, about 5 o'clock, I hop into the school bus and pick up the UNO uh, construction workers. And I uh, bring them back to camp here for supper. And uh, that's the end of the day for me then. Okay, I'm Wayne Henschel and I'm in instrumentation. Thanks to Shell and uh, the rest of the Albion Sands for, for a great place to work and a great place to uh, stay as well. Food is great. This is a great camp. We know that because whenever we ask people, they all say it's a great camp. The facilities people tell us are the best in Alberta. Hi, I'm Wendy Yates and I work at the Albion Expansion Project and I've been here since July of last year and I'm in charge of the charter flights that bring the workers to and from the site from all across Canada. We have 14 flights per week and we move about 2,000 passengers per week, one of the largest transportation operations in the Albion Sands projects. Hi, my name is Kane Sims. I'm from Triton, Newfoundland and I am a skilled laborer here with Adelaide Core Industrial on UNO site and I'd like to, to say hello to my uh, two kids, Marlena and Morgan. Hi guys, Dave loves it. I'll be home in a few days. And you don't have to leave your trailer and walk outside when it's 40 below to get to breakfast. Oh, how's the food? Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, it was pretty good. Ice cream's the best part though. The selection is great. Your fruit's all cut up for you. It's very easy to eat healthy. <laughs> We're making Chef Wolfgang pose here because he won a great chef's award. He whipped up pollock and coconut milk, jerked pumpkin, and yam pancakes. Chef spent some time in the Caribbean. So, what did it taste like? Well, you have the sweetness of the coconut with a hint of ginger, just slightly balanced or contrasted by the jerk from the pumpkin, right? So you have the sweetness and you have a little bit of a bite and I adjusted it to the Canadian taste, right? I didn't go the, all the way the Jamaican way. <laughs> it's a Canada-wide award, and there were 98 entrants competing. I really need to learn to be more assertive. Hi. <laughs> Starting now? Yes. Okay, hi, my name's Dwayne. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm a janitor with ESS. And, uh, yeah, I like my job. Camp's really clean. Um, people treat you well, and uh, everything's great. Okay, things are moving fast, so let's do a quick check with the other silos now. Right behind me is the, uh, in under this uh, ording, there's the, uh, the foundations for the new recycled water pump house. This is actually the last uh, of the big challenges that we have, or I like to call opportunities. What wonderful stuff hoarding is. What you see here all was built in the dead of winter. This foundation goes down 10 meters. They poured 55 truckloads of concrete in one 14-hour span to get this done, and it is rising out of the ground now. Right behind me you'll see the five main bases for the, the ma major pickup pumps on the pu recycle water pump house here. Uh, all the bases are being prepped for epoxy grouting. These five bases will uh, act as the mainstay for the uh, for the, all the pumps to pick up water once it's inside the well below us and rifle it off into the, uh, into the system. The big 265 kV power line from ATCO is done.
and look at this wire. The actual conductor, the hot wire, is in the center, surrounded by an insulator. Over that is a layer of fabric. This allows the inside to slip against the outside so 